Donny Silverman, my brilliant find. He lost Marty, $6 million stop. on my table. Stop. Moved to Florida, uh -huh. got a job as a substitute teacher, then hanged himself. Oh, and that's your fault. That's Donnie not Silverman's your fault. Dead. Harlan Eustace is in jail in Nevada, wishing he was, but that's not why I'm saying no. You're not saying no. I was named after my great grandmother. I don't care. Molly. We Dublin will stay Bloom here all night is until my name. you understand. Until you understand, nobody gives a about your good name. I do. Why? Because. Why? Because. Tell me why. Because it's all I have left. That is Molly's game. Jessica Chastain is here. You are nominated for a Golden Globe for the movie. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I like that movie, and it's based on a, a real story, and I'm very interested in this because I know yeah. some of the guys who would go to that. Do you know people that would go to that actual poker game? Yeah, I know some of the guys that went to the poker game, and um, some of them are my friends. Yeah. And when I, you know, said I was going to do the movie, actually, uh, some of them were so generous with me, and they took me to a poker game that was still happening in New York. Oh, to show you how, how it goes. Yeah, so I got to see behind the scenes. It would be interesting if they make a movie out of that poker game, and your <laughs> research visit actually yes. appears in the movie. It would be very meta. So um, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit, though. There's this running poker game that okay. famous people, rich guys, would come to here in L.A., and this Molly Bloom, this character, this woman, a real woman. Mm -hmm. Do you know Molly Bloom? Did you meet her? Oh, well, yeah. yeah right. When I got the part, I met Molly and uh, started researching her. Yes. How do you do that with a person without them? Because I would think they would act weird. If, like, you were researching yeah. me, I would act totally different. I Completely. Would... Yeah. If someone's researching you, you want to sh show up as you want them to play you. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So, you're, you know, you're, you're picking out your clothes, you're doing all of that stuff. And so when I met Molly, I was like, all right, this is how you want me to play you. But, and then I'm starting to look behind the scenes, like... Okay, how is she talking to a woman versus how is she talking to a man? What did she order to eat? You know, how does she drink her coffee? Does oh, she... she really, really... Oh, yeah. And All that you... little stuff. Are you engaging with her or you just want to see what she's doing? No, I'm asking her a lot of questions. You are asking a lot. You're not, not like a zoo animal where you're just sitting there and kind of watching her. <laughs> Studying her and just writing down the notes. <laughs> and then afterwards, are you at all, like, nervous about how she might receive completely yeah. uh, the first time molly saw the film was at the premiere in toronto because she's a felon and she's not allowed to go to canada oh so you know molly... how did she get there <laughs> well aaron sorkin hired an immigration lawyer what? to give her a 48 hour pass and she had to promise that she would not commit any crimes <laughs> while she was there to see the film and she said she couldn't do that <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, she sat behind me, and her dad sat behind me, and... Oh, why behind you? That's the worst was, place for her to be. It was so stressful because I could hear her father getting very emotional during the movie. Oh, really? And I wanted to, like, turn around and see if he was okay, but then I didn't know if he might hit me. <laughs> <laughs> so I just stayed looking forward. Yeah, that's probably the best. <laughs> but in some way, you want to please her. You want, you want her to Completely. like the portrayal. I want her to like the portrayal. But also, too, when you're playing someone who's going through a journey, you have to show their mistakes and their flaws, right? You right. have to see them overcome things. And you can't just play someone who's doing everything right. So I didn't want her to be upset that we saw those mistakes. I think and she, she came wasn't. off pretty well in, in yeah. the movie. Some of the guys, maybe, that are, or the characters are based on, yeah. who are maybe based on real-life people, maybe didn't come off so well. Maybe. Yeah. And yeah. do you run into those people at all? Or do you feel any responsibility? For that, or is that all on Aaron Sorkin because he's the director? <laughs> well, the good thing is a lot of the characters are combinations of stories. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's a nice way out of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and so there's not no one's playing anyone in particular. I see. Okay, and that's the story we're going to stick to. Yeah. yeah. Now, did, you, <laughs> did you happen to go to any of those games? No, I never did. No, I honestly haven't. Because really? I, mean, I know what would happen. They just take all my money is what would happen. <laughs> you don't have a poker face. Uh, no, I have no poker face. I barely even have a face. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's great to see you. Congratulations on the Golden Globe nomination. Thank the you movie's very much. called Molly's Game. It opens wide in theaters on Friday. <laughs> Jessica Chastain, everybody. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever. <laughs>